both gold and silver traded bearish yesterday we have seen gold moving towards the next support zone at 26 24 26 as we have mentioned and discussed in our update precisely hitting the zone we have seen it recovering a bit while silver has also traded below 31 and in fact has moved towards the next support zone at 30 80. i hope you all profited now what to expect today how to profit where to enter where to exit we will see with the detailed analysis with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update and this is the only channel to give you two updates with detail and thorough analysis and thus subscribe to the channel press the bell icon do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first gold followed with silver watch if you look at the moment on the early charts uh moving average is crossing over here since then prices is traded bearish and this is the critical resistance zone in between now 2640 to 2650 this is the zone where it is going to get maximum resistance and if you look at the moment here see this is delivering lower highs and lower lows and see this is the channel in which it is trying to trade on the upside now till 2650 we have to be very 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 careful yes you can buy here at 2642 but then 2646 2650 52 are going to remain two critical milestones for it to break on the upside and if you look at the uh, indicators here see if you see your stock i think this is slightly overbought and now trying to cool down a bit while the MACD, on the other hand has hit the lows and it is crossed over for a buying entry so these are two contradictory uh, indications here on the chart see this is overbought and this is oversold so possibly uh, let's see which direction it takes but right now it appears to show some slight little recovery rsi rising coming to two r chart on the two r charts likewise the crossover here is significant and that is why also i say see first thing is whether the prices can move towards the zone there is a possibility that it can show a move towards 2646 2650 zone which is going to or rather let me say 2650 46 2652 zone which is going to remain a prime resistance zone there is a possibility that prices can move towards this however i will say that there are greater resistances available here on the upside thus any buying position has to be traded with caution here so till 2652 we have to be extremely alert right now on the two r charts it is retracing looking upwards the stock is rising as well while magdi has hit the lows trying to converge crossover for a buy rsi rising coming to three r on the 3 hour charts right now the current candle is forming a flat uh, top here certainly 26 40 42 which was the support is now going to remain resistance to greener candles and also we should be careful see drop your retracement and as long as it stays below the zone we should be alert that it can drop again yes there is still bearishness intent and if you look at the moving averages here have not yet crossed over these have converged but not yet crossed over so uh, these are still layered one over the other and are still in green. The stock ISTIC is rising here, good sign for the bulls. While the MACD has dropped to the bottom, a crossover is what we could we should wait for. RSI comfortable, coming to 4R. On the 4R chart, see higher lows here. Just wait for it to stay above 26, 40, 42. That will confirm a move towards 46, 50, 52. And then uh, if it breaches this zone, there is a possibility of a move towards 2660 though i think it is going to be difficult for gold to breach 2660 at any point of time today however a little retracement on the upside cannot be denied looking at the formation what we had seen in the recent past the stock has to rising macd bearish rsi rising here coming to daily before we move to daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram write an email or connect with me over telegram for your queries related to the services and those who had asked me to recommend a broker which is available worldwide and which offers your swap free account with lowest spreads no hidden charges easier transactions easier withdrawals and a global presence you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now if you look at the charts here see first of all reversal sign was this then a false breakout hitting the top of the channel first bearish candle second bearish candle lower lows are done and lower highs are seen here and this is also one of the critical points that uh, i think it is going to be difficult for gold to break beyond 2660 however these are markets anything and everything is possible here right now the stance is for a little retracement but uh, see divide this candle into uh, two and look at the 50 percent point here 50% marks to come somewhere here between 26, 50, 52 and thus till 26, 50, 52 you should not be treating this as bullish. 
Now also look at the divergence of the price from the 20 period. Always the possibility remains very, very high that at some point of time price move toward 20 period moving average and the median of the Bollinger Bands. So 2600 some point of time in near future appears achievable and this is the most critical zone on the downside between 2580 to 2600. So uh, see where to we will come to that also. Stock I think here is looking downwards. See MACD on the daily charts is on the verge of a crossover. So that is why I say for now it can try to retrace but later in the day with the US session prices might reverse and trade bearish. This is a sign of crossover. Possibly this crossover can lead to slight bearishness here for the near future. RSI coming out of the overbought zone that is also an indication that now prices are trying to cool down. So looking at this. I will recommend you to buy here at 2642, be careful at 2646, 2650, 50, then uh, 2655 and then 2660, 60. till 2660 I will say there are greater, greater, greater resistances available here on the upside for gold and once it reaches 2660 we can look forward to 2666 and beyond this sky is the limit 2673, uh, 74 and then 2685 chances for this happening appears to be uh, negligible as far as my opinion is concerned at least for today on the downside i will recommend a selling entry now at 26 see uh, 2632 is a safer entry for us to take a sell but then 26 24 26 is definitely a very very stronger support below which you can expect it to keep moving towards 26 16 18 the first target and if it breaches this zone we can expect a move towards 2600 2600 two levels Take your positions accordingly. Let's have a look at silver. Now, silver on the early charts. If you look at the movement here, see two troughs here, and then this is the third one trying to get created. And if you look at with the highs of this towards 3180 levels, if it continues to trade bullish, uh, 3180 is going to be a very strong resistance. Now, what is happening here after hitting the lows? It has formed a good base here now at around 31 uh, 1520 zone and now trying to bounce back now it is very very important for the price to stay above 3140 when you see the lower price above 3140 we can initiate a buying entry but this is going to be a riskier trade 3150 first resistance 3160 70 80 till 3180 it is just 10 cents trailing stop loss every 10 cents there are resistances available here for silver so on the upside we have to be extremely cautious here for every 10 cents now, if you look at the stock, I think this is overbought. This calls for a little drop here. While look at the MACD on the RD charts, it has dropped and it is now looking upwards. And if you look at the slope, the slope was gradual here. It is trying to initiate slight uh, stronger momentum on the upside. RSI trading with modest bullishness and on the two R on the two R charts, the crossover here in the moving average is important after the drop, after consolidation, trying to rise. Uh, it may try to move around 3150-60 zone. Possibility is there. And these are definitely greater resistance levels here for silver. The stock is rising. MACD has also hit the lows trying to cross over for a buy. RSI rising as well. Coming to 3 on the 3 hour chart, similar is the observation. One green candle retracement, second green candle. Let it break out beyond 3140. We can look forward to 3160 levels possibly. And beyond it, only and only if silver breaches 3180, we can say that now it is reversed. And we can look forward to further rise. What has happened here yesterday as you discussed. See this is the candle which it is trying to erase the gains from. There was a liquidity gap here. There is a strong candle and now it has erased all the gains from this candle. Definitely finding it a good support there. Stock is rising. MACD bearish trying to converge. RSI comfortable. And on the 4 hour. This could be the making of a second bullish candle. Taking the prices towards 31.50.60. Possibility exists is strong. However I will say do not treat silver as bullish as long as 3180 is not taken today stock stick rising macd bearish rsi coming out of the oversold zone coming to the day now look at the daily charts here see this if you connect the dots you will find silver is trading in this bullish channel it has breached the channel yesterday it has it has shown a move or an intent to move towards 20 period moving average and the median of the Bollinger Bands which are sitting at around 31 70 60 zone which is also critical support zone now what has happened if you look at the formation this candle look at the rise and the drop has erased the gains from this candle and now trying to recover also higher lows and higher highs are seen here only only point here is the 
break out out of this channel which is a critical observation though it is trolling trying to fall back but it is certainly a bearish indication for the near future so that is why i say till 3180 today we have to be careful it can reverse again the stochastic dropping here macd is on the verge of a crossover for sell rsi flat looking at this i will recommend you to buy here at 3140 but then you have to be extremely cautious extremely alert put just 10 cents trailing stop loss as long as it stays below 3180 chances of reversal will be very very high and beyond 3180 we can wait for 32 and any point of time silver trading above 32 is a clearly bullish chance where uh, we can look forward to a stronger rise towards 32 25 50 80 let's see if it gives you such a breakout chances for which appears to be less on the downside i will recommend you a selling entry at 31 15 31 20 levels or rather you can sell here at 31 uh, 15 20 zone expected to keep moving towards 31 first 30 80 second 30 80 30 70 is going to remain a prime support zone below which we can look forward to 30 40 30 50 and if it breaches 30 40 30 50 just stay short we are looking forward to a greater correction towards 30 dollars and lower levels trade accordingly see you again before the u.s session with more detailed analysis and more updates do not miss to watch that like share subscribe and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort thank you have a great profitable trading day thank you